Alright y'all, so it's Hemi Boy back at it with another video. Uh, today is going to be a little different style vlog. Um, normally I uh, just post like car stuff, but it's just something uh, that I'm doing right now uh, with my house. As you see, I have this big, this big circle platform right here. Where that used to be a pool. Um... When it was winter, snowing and ice, um, I'm gonna throw a picture up on the screen, probably somewhere up there, and um, my pool rip. So I've been going through the process of tearing it down and you know draining the rest of the water out of it, and it's been a very, very, very long, tedious process. Um, partly ways because I don't want the water to drain into the garage and potentially mess something up. I don't know. I don't know anything about draining any pools. Um, I don't know anything about pools when I bought the house. The pool came with the house. So um, I didn't really want the pool. Somebody else wanted the pool. I didn't want the pool. Um, so I guess it kind of worked out in my favor, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, these last few days I've been just going ahead and tearing it down. And last night, uh, we had tore it down and I had rolled it up and it was like a big whale sitting in my backyard because so I didn't know what, what to do with it or how to do with it um, or how to even get rid of a pool, you know what I'm saying? Um, so last night we kind of unrolled it and I cut it into like like 20 different pieces, rolled it up, put it in garbage bags and set it out for the road, to the road for the garbage people to take it this morning. and. Uh, yeah that was that so now it's just um getting rid of this mess and what's underneath and once i tear this off i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like underneath it, it feels really hard so i'm pretty i'm pretty sure it's like dirt under here but i want to get it level with the ground so I could plant some grass right here and have a nice big old yard you feel me so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rip this up and I'm gonna show y'all uh, kind of like a process and what it looks like underneath and what I gotta do even I don't know what I gotta do to get it to get it right but um, that's what comes with having a house um, when you don't want to pay somebody to do something it's kind of like a DIY thing so I'm a try to DIY this first before I get somebody to pay or pay somebody to do the work you know what I'm saying so that's all what it's about I know you see this it's ugly blue um, this is gonna be on the house in the garage this is gonna be gone soon um, don't know what color yet but I'm gonna go ahead and paint the house and I'm try to get my yard together you know have me a nice little little outside area out here but i'm gonna go ahead and get uh try to get this mess up and see what it looked like underneath Alright y'all, so I just did a little time lapse of me pulling up the pool tarp that was underneath it. As you can see, this is how it looks underneath. Oh, this is nasty, right man? And I tell you, it smelled like a sewer back here, man. And that pool was nasty. You can tell, like, and I wonder why it finally decided to give out. Cause it, it was like when we moved in, we didn't we didn't really mess with the pool because it wasn't it was kind of like at the end of the time where you know you start to close the pool. But it seemed like these people they didn't even attempt to take care of the pool or anything. That pool every pool was just disgusting. Like when I tell you nasty, like beyond belief, it was disgusting. Like 
like any like pool people like if you see it you'll probably be like man that's the worst pool i've ever seen but you know it is what it is you know i didn't have to pay extra for the pool you know what i'm saying they just kept it so it's whatever but yeah this will look like underneath um it's pretty hard which is probably expected but you know i don't know how i'm gonna get it get a grass grade or what i'm gonna do i mean i guess i'm gonna have to do a lot of googling or if you're watching this video and you know you know how to do it um just leave a comment below and you know let me know what you think about uh, or not what you think but what you recommend me doing about fixing this or trying to put grass over it or how to do it you know what i'm saying you feel me but yeah i got all this stuff still left over they left everything i got filters i got uh whatever you want to call it i got everything for the pool so that's probably either be going, going to be going for sale or we'll probably end up putting it out to the, to the curb somebody come pick it up for free i don't really care um but yeah now the one thing that's getting me is this ring i don't know if you can see it this ring right here around i don't know what that is if i had to take that off well, well i'm pretty sure i do have to take it off but I don't know if I have to dig it out. There's like a lot of rocks, but, but anyways, so I am glad this is finally done. Um, I feel like it was making a lot of bugs stay stick around, having this damn pool hanging out here. But like I said, I'm glad it's finally over with um, and done, and it's down. Maybe make room for a hot tub now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little look. You know into just like a, a everyday thing or like a daily vlog or something you know what i do throughout the day um yeah i'm gonna probably give you a little little tour of the garage too right behind me you know just to get y'all a little see how i'm living a little bit you know what i'm saying where where i re reside the derrick aka hemi boy I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, so I'm going to get back with y'all when I figure out how I'm going to do this in a minute. All right. All right, y'all. So um, I did a little bit more. I tore the, the little, as you can see, they had like a little trench right here. I tore whatever it was up. And yeah this is what it looks like now um like i said before now i just gotta find out how to turn this into grass um or maybe do a fire pit here i'm not completely too sure but whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen quick because it's just a big eyesore in my yard as you can see but anyways before i end this video off I'm gonna go ahead and do a little garage tour for y'all. My little garage where I keep, you know, that bad thing right there. You know, nice two car garage around here. You know, could use some fixing up, some prettying up, but it, it, it'll do for now, you know. You know, I got my car cover, my factory springs for my charger, some storage up here. And I got these two, these two thingamabobs, whatever you want to call them, right here. Uh, I got one that I'm going to be putting all my like cleaning supplies in. As you see up there, I got my little arsenal right there. And I got my million microfibers. And then this one, I got like all my tools, chargers, um, light bulbs, extension cords, etc., etc. Um right over here it's my workbench um it's got stuff on it right now because you know we just cleaned up the garage so you know it's a work in progress but aside i mean a nice big area down there to store stuff 
Let me take you on around here. Got some shells over here. I got a lot of my tools. A very unorganized tool set over here. I got one, two, three, four. I got about four toolboxes over here. And my stock wheels for my charger. Tires and wheels right here. Probably gonna be putting those up for sale soon. Maybe, I don't know yet. And then, you like it. Here's a closer view of the storage under here, but yeah. You know, I just wanted to give y'all a little a little tour. You know, I might do a little in-depth um, later on once I got it a little bit straightened up and organized how I wanted to. Um, I've only been in this house, well, I ain't gonna say only, but I've been here about seven, eight months now. So, you know, I'm just starting to, you know, get things in order. And you know, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice looking uh, cave in here. I think when I get done with it, if I decide to go ahead and do anything with it. But yeah, before uh, I ended that video, I just wanted to give y'all a little tour. So um, if you're into this type of stuff, you know, you like what you see, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment what you think, and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah.